Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? <laughs> what? what? Are you what? trying to steal my thunder? No, I want to give him some energy. That's why. All right, fine. Thank you. Okay, stop. Okay, so one of you guys sent me a really cool message, and I felt like I really needed to share it. Um, because I felt like I really connected with your message. I felt like this is something that I felt before, even though it's not something that I ever really had to experience. This is what you said. So, I'm in Hong Kong. There's an examination called the DSE. It's an examination to determine whether you can enter a university or not. Hong Kong is now developing into an economic dependent city, so without a university degree, you can barely find a job, meaning you're out. Therefore, it's very important exam for us secondary six, whatever that means, which is uh, high school students in America. I don't know what that means. However, this is not an easy exam. So, you go to explain how 80,000 people from China and Hong Kong go and they take this exam and about less than 15% actually pass and get into good universities. You also go to explain how it's super competitive because instead of being like the California or US where you have like hundreds of colleges to choose from, you only have seven to choose from. And if you don't get into this college, you don't get this degree, so then now you don't get this amazing job that's gonna give you a really good, comfortable life for you and your family. One thing I would like to point out is her English is, is amazing. Fucking good. Like Yeah, that's one thing she pointed she out. She writes better than some of the motherfuckers than that me. live here. Like I I just I just realized that and I'm like, yeah. Wait, why the fuck are you even worried about your future? You got it, girl. When this is your second motherfucking language and you write Way better than she does. Yeah. Not better than me. Said. That's that's for, for not for damn sure. I'm just kidding. She writes fucking good. Yeah, you write. What really was well. second six E F to the K? Like what what, what grade like that. is that? Whatever what what She's in high school basically. Okay, if you're in fucking high school and you can write like in, in high school. She writes better than a lot of the college students that try to apply for JK. You know what I write like when I was in high school? I wrote like I is the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I I is the cookie. That that was me. But what she said has a lot of merit because I do yeah. have relatives that live in Asia. And I've heard. Yeah, and they I've heard that you have a lot of relatives uh, that live in Asia. Well, and you know them, but they're telling me that during the midterms and final exams, they actually lock the top floors of the school. And the schools there, they build upwards, so they have like seven, eight, ten floors, and they lock the top floors because upon receiving bad news about their test, or even if they just felt that didn't do well on their test, people be jumping from the ceiling God because damn. they're like, fuck, my life is over. And then they go, and they, fucking, <laughs> and they jump all the way down and they fucking smash straight into the floor. That's how fucking damn. serious it is over there. Damn, that, that sucks. First of all, I think that fucking sucks to have like this pressure for something that you don't even know is gonna happen to you. Like, you're, you only have like, you've only really lived for like a good, what, like seven years. Cause the first fucking 10 year, complete moron yeah you don't know bacteria. jack shit you don't know shit yeah so you've only lived like less than a decade and you have all this pressure up on yourself like I, I think I think that's horrible and that needs to change but that's beside the point what Barr pointed out the fact that you have <laughs> what I don't know you just started smiling I thought it was funny well because I, I mean it, 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 it gave me a new thought that I'm like holy shit like she has such a competitive advantage just globally now global like it's not even at an Asia level like now you have opened so many doors for yourself that you just know English because like the whole world like English Chinese and Spanish are like the three most used languages in the world in the fucking universe. and you know both of them like you dominate in both of them like already girl you should already just pat yourself on the back and just start just start pretending like you're gonna make it rain with money because that's what you're basically gonna do but you definitely need to change your mentality and i know that it's hard because you're kind of surrounded by this type of thinking but you can't you can't sell yourself short like that you can't start thinking of a bunch of what ifs because what does it matter it's good to prepare and be like, okay, well, you know, if I do this, if I do A, B, C, D, E, F might happen, these are the things that I might want to do just in case these secondary, third things or whatever happens. But once you start dwelling, that's it. You've already fucked yourself. So what you need to do is focus on studying. Okay, I get it. Like it, you have this, you have this expectation to perform and you feel like if this is something that you want to do, I understand that right now, it's not really your choice because you do live with your parents, it is their house, it is their rules, they are providing for you. So your culture, I get it, you have to respect their wishes and that's fine and you should, 
Um, but you also have to realize what it is that you want for yourself. So yes, study, get good grades, make them proud of you, make them happy, but at the same time, keep your eyes and ears open as to what other things that make you happy. Don't think about your parents at this point. Think about yourself. Do you really like, you know, writing blogs? Do you really like sharing a bunch of photos with your friends? Do you really like cooking? Do you really like sewing? Do you really like finding what your friends are really good at and developing them? Like there's so many options for you out there that you can really just think about. Like, hey, just sit there and be like, what what really makes me happy? Because I feel like once you start thinking this way, then you start you start seeing like, wait a minute, I actually don't want to do economics or I don't want to be an accountant. I think being a lawyer is kind of boring. I'm not down to do doctor stuff. And you start seeing like, well, you know what makes me happy? Traveling makes me happy. What can I do with that? Because what you have at your fingertips now, the fact that you speak Chinese, the fact that you speak English, and the fact that we have internet now, it's like your possibilities, believe me when I say this, are completely endless and this is absolutely like 100% your world and I know that you can't see this now but you really have to sit there and be truthful to yourself and be like what makes me happy I think what you're saying is um, don't think that the DSC is gonna be determine your the, life it's gonna be the exact determinant of your life yeah. I think what you're trying to say is look to your passions as alternative DSCs yeah Absolutely. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, and I understand why this DSC is put into place, right? They, the majority of the world, my, I was part of this, this, this percentage is, or, or like this group is, you don't know what you want. So you follow this set path that you know is successful. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Like they say, okay, go to school, get this degree, major in this type of thing. Once you go here, then you go get an internship in this type of major. Then you end up with this type of job. It makes sense. It's it's a good system. It works for some people, but for some other people, that system doesn't work. And they're like, well, actually, I don't want to do that. I want to try something completely new. And those are the people that, that, that that's what I'm kind of, I guess, like telling you to, to think about that there's these two options, but treat the second option of like the exploration and following your passions the same way that you would treat that DSC that you want to take. Study it, study your passion, study what's going to make you happy. And, and I feel like 